Hi guys, welcome back to Future Dimensions 360. As you know, in our last tutorial, we had finished our use context hook. Until now, we had learned three different hooks. One of them is use state hook. The second one is use effect hook. And the third one is use context hook. From today's tutorial onward, we will be learning on use reducer hook. First of all, we will be learning what and why of use reducer hook. Later on in the current tutorial, we will be learning the JavaScript reducer function from vanilla JavaScript. It's important to learn reducer function as it's similar to use reducer hook. As soon as you will have the detailed knowledge of use reducer function, you will be able to understand the working and syntax of use reducer hook properly. So let me go ahead and tell you what is use reducer hook. Use reducer hook is a hook that is used for state management. As soon as I talk about state management, I know there is a question coming in your mind that we have already a hook called use state hook that is for state management. So you guys are right that we have another hook called use state hook for state management. Use reducer, then why, what is use reducer? Use reducer is actually an alternative of use state hook. It is an alternate of use state hook. So what is the difference between both of them? The difference between both of them is Use reducer is more primitive hook than use state hook. Use state hook is actually implemented on top of use reducer hook. Use state hook is built using use reducer hook. So when to use use reducer hook and when to use use state hook? I know this question is coming in your mind, but it's more important question, but at this time, that you guys don't have knowledge about use reducer hook. It's not necessary to let you know about why to, when to use use reducer and when to use use state hook. We will be definitely talking about this question later on in the coming tutorials after learning the practical examples of use reducer hook. Until now, how much hook we have learned? The first one is state hook, use state hook that is for state management or that is related to state. Second hook you had learned is use effect hook. That's for side effects. The third one you had we had learned is use context hook. That is for context API. And now we will be learning use reducer hook that belongs to or that is related to reducers. So related to reducers mean you guys need to have a detailed depth knowledge of vanilla JavaScript reducer function. If you guys don't have it, I will be continuing from now onward in this tutorial about reducer functions of vanilla JavaScript, reducer function of vanilla JavaScript. Then you will be learning about vanilla JavaScript reducer function. After that, it's much easier for you to understand use reducer hook. I hope I will recommend you guys to have you Redux knowledge, a bit Redux knowledge to understand reducers as well. So let's move forward to MS Docs. We have MSDN Docs and we had opened a reduce function from vanilla JavaScript. I will try to explain you guys here a, a reducer function that will help you to understand what actual reducer function is. So any function, any array that is available in JavaScript must have a built-in reduce method provided by vanilla JavaScript. What that function takes is that function, it's actually a function you guys can see here. This is a function that takes two arguments as a parameter. This is the first argument that is a callback and the second argument is the initial value. Initial value is the value that you will be providing 
to the callback function of the reducer initially later on that callback will move through each element of array and return a single and return a single value in our case here our array is 1234 and we had pass an initial value 0 so initial value will be in this callback 0 and later on what will happen every time the pointer or the current pointer will pass through each element of an array like current value always will be this and accumulator initially will take the initial value and after that it will take the return value from the callback again and again so first of all what will happen the current in the first iteration the current value will be 1 the initial value will be 0 and we will sum up those To, and the value will be the return value will be one. In the second iteration, the current value will be two, and the accumulator is already one. It will turns to one plus two, three. In the third iteration, our accumulator is three, and we are taking the current value three, so three plus three equals to six. In the fourth iteration, our accumulator is six. and we are getting current value of 4 so we will uh, plus both of them add both of them so 6 plus 4 is 10 you guys can see here our answer is 10 if i will pass here an initial value 10 the answer will change to 20 so this is the way how reduce function work from vanilla java script you have to not it's not necessary to have depth knowledge of reduce function but just keep two points in mind that reduce functions always pass through each element of array secondly it takes two argument as an input one is a callback function and the other one is an initial value and the callback function or the reducer function is always having access to two parameters one is the current value of the array and the second one is the returned value from the last reduced function so let's move ahead to our hooks you will see i will try to explain the differences between reduce vanilla javascript reduce function and use reduce function from use reduce hook from react so use reduce is actually reducer is actually a reducer is actually a function that takes two argument as a parameter same as that use reducer hook takes two arguments as a parameter the first argument is reducer in reduce function in use reducer hook it's same as reducer the second argument is initial value in reduce function but here in use reducer it's initial state and the second thing is reducer returns a single value always a reducer function returns a single value and to take two arguments as a parameter one is accumulator function accumulator means the current value and the second one is the in the current the the return value is an accumulator and the current value of an item is the item value secondly in the user similarly in use reducer hook you are returning a new state from the reducer and passing two parameters to reducer the first one is the current state and the second one is an action we will be talking about action method and current state in detail in the upcoming video but now for now just try to understand the difference in the syntax and working of use reducer and reduce function the third thing is reduce method returns a single value on the other hand use reducer hook returns a pair of value one is new state and the other one is dispatch method so let me guys summarize this for you what we had learned today is use reducer is a hook that is used for state management in react use reducer is related to reduce function reducer functions of vanilla javascript and use reducer take two values as an input one is reducer and the second one is initial state reducer take two 
parameters as an input. One is the current value of the state or current state value, and the second is action. So so far, use reducer is basically changing the state in React component. I hope you guys understand what is use reducer hook. That's it for today's tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe and like our channel. See you in the next video. Take care. Goodbye.